Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to continue on with the main quest and hopefully finish up the foothold or foot falls in ash so without further ado let's go ahead and get started This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgal. <laughs> The tower, it's alive. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting some stuff. More echoes of the fallen. They seem to feed on ether, but there shouldn't be any here. was one over here. Maybe Torgal killed it. Uh, this looks very ominous. seem to have a mind of their own. Oh, great. Stay down! Yeah. 
I hate bombs. Holding back. Take care of the bombs first. Too slow. Nice try. Too slow. Nice try. Try to overwhelm him if we can. Too slow. Nice try. Too slow. Too slow. Nice try. Got him. Oh, we want to go that way. I was confused there for a second which way we needed to go. Hate those things. Yeah, we're really close to getting another level here. Yeah. 
350 gil, that's not bad. Better than 5 or 12. This place is big. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. care of those guys first. Bombs. Get out of here, guys. It's over. We got a level. One more level will be level 45. I mean, I'm kind of stating the obvious there, but I'm just saying.
It's a big motherfucker. Well, that's new. Though I expect it'll fall like all the rest. That was actually really easy. <laughs> uh, that was a little too easy in my opinion. What was that thing? Hopefully there aren't any more. Man, we ever gonna get to the top of this tower? You know what to do, boy. See a treasure chest over there? over here I mean I know this is a tall tower but damn I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting on this elevator Maybe not. fight on this Slow. elevator. Good lord. 
Didn't want to do that. I meant to switch over. Another one. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hopefully that's the last one. Almost there. Almost there? I thought we were there. <laughs> I guess not. Every funeral or lead up to an epic battle has to have rain, right? That's the rules. Good, I got a high potion and He's here. A... I can feel him. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. But ya. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on, and carry on I shall, not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens 
And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. is this my worth proven the Lord charged me thus if your kind are to find salvation they must be made to serve you see paradise lies but a single step away could we only take it could we only leave our transgressions behind for none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me. How is that living? <clears throat> what you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know the truth. <laughs> of a god, yet still you fight like a man. You will obey! Damn. He's got some gnarly ass moves. When will you see? Show me more! Nice try. Fire and flame! <laughs> Disappoint me. God chose you to serve as his vessel, 
and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. You have been shown the path. Now you must follow it. Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Perhaps you still require persuasion. Hopefully we can kill him this time. Enough mythos. Well done, Tim. Nice try. Too slow. Fool. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. Damn it.
What are you waiting for? Men know nothing of strength. But you will! Damn. Could it be you've made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. And so it ends. has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations. I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it! Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! Disappointment of lesser rivals, but no more. Oh, my constant congregation, salvation is come. Rejoice as our souls are granted peace unending. How do you know this day will come? What proof have you? Why you, Mythos? Your mere existence is proof of the Lord's grand design. No. I'll never serve your god! Too slow. Finally! Let's try. Better already. Man, Bartibus is strong as hell. Definitely is a tough enemy. Too slow. It's definitely going to be a longer video, everybody. Kind of figured it would be. Fire and fl Yeah. 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 
disappoint! <laughs> My crown, Mythos. But none could wrest it from my head. Nice try. Come! Have you the strength? Have you the will? I... I... That's better. The Rapture! I am yours, Mythos. Claim me as your prize! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Ramu! You're God, he is tough. This shit again. At an end. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. 
Clive Rossfield. Damn, only 8,000 experience for all that. my own. <laughs> you relinquished nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world, that world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. words from one who has served the Lord so well. This is pointless. Ah, but I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? We shall fulfill our destinies just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield, take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God! No! At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Mother. Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? 
to edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine. With or without a will, you are still but a vessel, our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There all shall end and begin again. Quickly, my lord, quickly! Why the hell is my city going with the captain? Don't ask me, ask them! Since when was Eugen Havel one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck climbing the backsides of this lot while the city burns and my wife tells off with a man half my age! And then you turn up! What the hell are you doing here anyway? What indeed? <laughs> The enemy numbers 200,000 or more, counting yours. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, what of the central keep? Held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding boroughs. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> perspective? Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Send me some of your best men, preferably all of them. My best men? Does it look like I have any more? I admit this might not be the most convenient time, but my nephew's in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. Then you and he are of the same mind. <laughs> Clive fights for the opposite! He fights for a world in which they shouldn't have to live and die for nothing! And, and he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow! Be that as it may! A handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Then mayhap they are the wrong men. Well, I'll be damned. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. <laughs> and know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Farewell, <laughs> my prince. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. Oh, they're... they're all... <laughs> they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You safe.
I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. We'll be here by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Ah, oh, he didn't consider it killing, or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. <laughs> Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the Mother Crystals have been bleeding the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freet that he desires, but a freet and phoenix both, that which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting.
Woo, that was, <laughs> that was a lot. I bet Odin's pretty powerful. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Okay, so with that all being done, let's go ahead and end the video. It's already went on for over an hour. I want to tell everybody, first and foremost, thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the th thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.